Today's scripture reading is from Matthew 24, verses 36 through 44. But about that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field, one will be taken, and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together, one will be taken, and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The scripture readings assigned for the first weeks of Advent always feel a little unsettling. The readings usually deal not with the story of Jesus' birth, but with the second coming of Christ. And those apocalyptic texts are not necessarily comforting. In this passage, for example, it emphasizes how the day of the Lord will come unexpectedly. I don't know about you, but this year I've had enough of the unexpected. We value routine, solid plans, predictable outcomes. But the early Advent readings put us at the edge of our seat. God's coming kingdom will come unexpectedly. Today's diorama illustrates the not-knowingness of Advent. With pages of a calendar scattered chaotically in the background and a clock pointing to not numbers but question marks, we can visualize the way that we keep track of time juxtaposed to how God keeps track of time. In God's time, the Son of Man will return and gather his elect from the four winds. But nobody knows when or where or how that day and hour will come. It's unforeseeable and unpredictable. It comes, Jesus says, like a thief in the night or a sweeping away flood. Every year, the gospel for the first Sunday in Advent sounds ominous and threatening. We call texts like today's apocalyptic, and we tend to hear them as end-of-the-world texts. That's often how it feels when life is uncertain, the future is unpredictable, and we are powerless to control what comes next. It can feel like the world is ending. But that's not really what's going on here. This isn't a prediction about the end of the world as we know it, but it's rather guidance for how to live in the face of impermanence and changes that are not predictable or under our control. What we do know is that whatever it is, it happens in the ordinariness of life, eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, working in the fields and grinding meal. Not knowing the date and time of God's plans doesn't diminish life. It intensifies it. It heightens its value. It deepens its meaning. It opens us to the possibility of the impossible. Every moment matters, and we don't want to miss any of it. Let us pray. God of surprises, this Advent, keep us on the edge of our seats. Make us alert at all times and in all circumstances to the inbreaking of your kingdom. Amen.